Yo, it's your boy Kills Game Navics here, and today I am bringing you a new video on how to resign and mod game saves. Um, first off, you need this is PS3 only, so make sure you have PS3. Obviously, if you have Xbox, kind of fucked. Lol. But there are ways to do it on Xbox, but I have a PS3. Um, so first off, you want to get a game save like off your PS3. Uh, put it onto USB, take USB out your PS3, and then put it back into your laptop. So, just give me a second so I can get my skin. See, basically, I'm gonna show you how to add cheats to Resident Evil 6 because that's my favorite game. But I like to play Resident Evil 6, and then some of you like to. Uh, some of you like to play other games so we'll have our own opinions on what games we like so basically you want to do that and then with that done you want to take it out so basically this is my Resident Evil 6 save but it's from a different account so I want to use it on my other accounts so what I'll do is I'll get my save Basically, I'll get my save what I've just got, and then I go on oh, to wait until it's open. Okay, maybe not. Go into the file, and then go to your USB. You want to go to USB, wherever it is. Okay. Same, I didn't plug in. Oh wow. <laughs> Hold on. My USB is broke. You're broken. My my fucking USB is broke. Oh, here we go. Uh, and you want to go to that. So this is what I'm gonna resign, basically. Apart from, hmm, that's odd. That's bliss. Okay, so hold on. Uh, fuck it. Just do it like this. So basically. Basically, this would be bless. Let's just say that this will be, like, say for me, it will be. Basically, it will be bless for me, okay? Because I'm UK, I'm not American. Um, some people said do some American. I'm not. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go find save resigner. I'll leave a description for save resigner. Uh, for the save resigner, but you'll have to get the brute force yourself. It, um, or I do. All you'll have to do for brute force is just use your brain. <laughs> just go and Google, and then just type in brute force save data, and then just like f click through load links, and then just see which one works for you. Um, Obviously, you'll get this. So basically, you should have something like this. So basically, you want to get your main game save what you got off your PS3. So and then you want to click all load from Param SFO. Then you want to go to a desktop or wherever you dragged it to, and then you want to get the one you copied off your USB. You want to get that one. So, excuse me, I got hiccups. And then you save. As profile one, you can do all of them if you want, but I just do profile one because uh, it's just easier. And then this one, you want to get your modded one. I'm not gonna actually show you because I don't want to lose my uh, game save because I've already done it. And then basically, you just get the modded save, and then you just click that, and then you just keep clicking it, and then it will eventually show here. Um, what I normally do so it don't corrupt is normally it will show like the region of your thing there just like take it all out and then re-put it in your region in again and then just click remove copy protection and then select the profile what you done the first time what you saved it as so mine will be profile one when that's done hit resign it will, res it will take a couple of it will take a minute or something and then basically once it's all done and it will allow you to close it close it there should be you'll have another fold you'll have a folder like this it will say but 
what it would do is that it will say original like it will say like that and then original backup so then when you get the original backup folder from this just drag don't dra use that one with the backup just drag this one in like your main one not the one that says like the bless and then backup um, but yeah that's what you want to do so um, and now I'm going to show you how to add cheat. So you want to get brute force safe data. You don't need to run it as administrator because, like, yeah, that's just pointless. No one does that no more. Um, want to do that? And want to get it like this and just refresh a couple of times. So let's see. And then just go. You want to hit decrypt PFD. Want to hit. Decrypt all files, do you? Uh, then you can go, and then you cheats, apply cheats, and just like if you want them all, just hit yes on them all, and just tick them all, like you know, whatever floats your boat. If you want the code for Pierce's mutated hands, if you play Resident Evil 6 and you want that, and you can't find and you don't have it, uh, just PM me a message and I'll uh, send you the code. Or add me on Skype, I'll leave my Skype in the description. But yeah, I'm not going to do this because I've already got them, so I'm good. And then once you've basically once you've added all the cheats, it will say applied. And then what you want to do is you want to encrypt all decrypted files, and then it will ask you to rebuild. But what you want to do first is do what I normally do: refresh, rebuild, then rebuild, full, and then just wait. And once it's finished rebuilding, just hit refresh, and then you should be fine. Um, but yeah, and that's how you add cheats. Uh, some games have cheats, some games don't. Um, but yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you need any help, just um, PM me on Skype or whatever. And yeah, um, if there's any videos you want to see, just uh, if there's any like videos you want me, any more videos you want me to do, or like you want me to do tutorials on anything, just PM me and I'll uh, see what I can do. So yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, and